Okay, so what I want you to do for these is you're gonna grab something that you can, something sturdy you can hook your feet under, and you're gonna get your knees roughly to 90 so that your hips are like at 120-ish. Doesn't have to be specific, you're gonna end up playing around with that anyways. So, um, this is gonna be my makeshift weight, a little tired just because I don't have any weights here. And so what I want you to think about is, first things first, you're gonna lay flat. And we're gonna do all the things that we do for our bracing, right? We're gonna go through our sequence of ribs down, gentle pregnant belly pressure, and then we're gonna inhale a little bit, let it raise, and then we're gonna brace hard. And that's going to make us go from this hyperextended position where I can fit my hand under here to doing the whole sequence. It's going to make it so I can't get my hand under here. So back is flat. So what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna maintain this core tightness. And you're gonna take a very, very light weight. We're talking like starting with five pounds. We're gonna press it. And we're going to stay rigid here. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to very slowly bring the weight to one side. Your scapula might come off the floor and that's okay. As long as you maintain the flatness in the lumbar region, you're good to go and maintain that core. You're gonna slowly bring the weight to one side. 10, 15 degrees, that's it. Pause, two, three. Bring it back to the middle, cross the middle to the other side. 10, 15-ish degrees, two, three, pause. Then we're gonna come back and go to the other side. I'm gonna go another 10, 15 degrees, so about 30 total. Two, three, and we're gonna keep going back and forth, slow and controlled, maintaining that core stability. The whole idea for this is to get the weight in a position where it essentially wants to rotate you. And we are going to actively fight that rotation. So this, when I would go out here from here, so it looks more like here, it's really pulling me in this direction. And I'm using my core to actually fight that. And we're gonna go back. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start very, very, very small. 10, 15 degrees is all we need at first. If there's no pain and you're good to go and you're like, wow, I got this, I feel totally fine and stable, dope. Increase another 10, 15 degrees. So if we're looking at zero degrees, 10 to 15, 30-ish, 45-ish, 65-ish, 90-ish. Um, once you get past like the 10 to 15 degrees, your scapula are gonna kind of come off the ground and then you're gonna be in this wonky position. So what we can do from there is you can just one hand it and maybe use a kettlebell and we're going to bring it out this way. Or conversely, you can use two hands and bring it out this way Bring it out this way with the bent elbows. Okay, so for these, we're kind of gonna do the opposite of a resisted Russian twist, right? But of course, like most things in life and most things in the gym, we're gonna start with our bracing sequence. So first things first, ribs down, gentle pregnant belly pressure out, get that 3D expansion going, little breath here, let it fill, embrace, right? Again, pushing the low back into the ground, tucking the hips. You know the drill by now. So for these, what we're gonna start with is, these are a little more advanced. You're gonna maintain all your tightness and you're gonna have your knees up. Now here's the thing. The closer your knees are to your chest, the easier, the further away, the harder. So let's start at roughly 90 for now, if not a little closer. I'm gonna be a little closer just cause there's not a lot of room over here. Important part, take your arms, bam, make a big T this way. You're stable in all directions. So similar to the resisted twists, you're just going to take your knees and your lower half 10-15 degrees in one direction. Maintaining that tight brace and pushing against the floor. You're going to pause, two, three, other side, very slow and controlled. 10-15 degrees, pause, two, three, and you're gonna go back and forth for the prescribed sets and reps. Now you can go further to the side to about 45 degrees if you're comfortable with it. And then to the other side. Good, and then if that's a little too easy for you, 
And you're just gonna continue from 90 uh, with the knees and legs kind of out further. So you're gonna put a lot more pressure on your core, 10, 15 degrees. Pause two, three, to the other side. 10, 15 degrees, your hips will come off the ground a little bit, that's okay. And you're just gonna go back and forth for the prescribed sets and reps. This one's a little more intense, so take it slow and uh, just do your best.